With a recent epilogue for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, we've gotten just a bit closer to our friends in the Paldea region. But honestly, I just want to get closer to Penny's dad. Yes, that's right, along with all the new characters we got to meet at the Blueberry Academy who are related to previously known gym leaders, it turns out that Penny was one of them all along, as it's heavily implied that she is the daughter of Peony from Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, in the base game of Scarlet and Violet, during our trek down into Area Zero, we learn a little more about our friends as they talk amongst each other. Penny mentions that she gets annoyed by her dad always calling calling her nicknames like Pen Pen, but that's all we got at first. Now in the epilogue, as we catch her talking to her dad over the phone before leaving for Kitakami, we see that he calls her trip an adventor and that she describes him as super ultra annoying. Very obviously meant to imply that Peony is her father as we see him use a lot of the same language. Back during the events of the Crown Tundra DLC adventure, we met this enthusiastic gentleman as he planned an expedition for himself as well as his other daughter, Peonia, or Nia for short. She wanted to explore on her own, specifically adventuring through the Dynamax adventures, though Peony wasn't built for that kind of thing. So we see that he's really a loving father who can be a bit overbearing at times, though he ultimately lets his children do their own thing, which explains why he allows Penny to attend school in another region. If you're wondering in the past, I have dove in a little deeper into Peony's character as well as his brother Chairman Rose. But anyway, from the events of the base game of Scarlet and Violet, we also know that Penny was originally from Galar, having spent time there recently while on a break from school. Fun fact, we also see her on one of the trains in a brief clip in the final episode of Paldean Winds. I forgot to mention that in my review video, but it explains why she isn't in the rest of the series like Arvin and Nimona. But all those pieces seem to fit pretty well. Penny is from the Galar region and has an overbearing father who speaks like Peony. Kind of like how some other relationships were more heavily implied rather than outright confirmed. Though the recent update does drop some names and give some actual solid evidence. But this was a relationship I never really predicted because, well, there's the obvious detail that they don't look all that similar. Though I quickly remember that that isn't always the case when it comes to family. After all, my dad and I practically have the same respective skin tones as Peony and Penny. Being mixed race will be like that. I had posted something about this on Twitter the other day and was really surprised to see a bunch of other people chiming in that they relate to Penny a lot in this aspect, and that's pretty cool. When we get a good look at their mother depicted in the trainer card, it makes more sense. I mean, we do see that Nia herself has blonde hair, which she gets from her mother. I had just assumed Penny's hair was naturally red or blue because anime characters are usually like that, but I guess she's a natural blonde or has darker hair and decided to dye it this way instead. Also, if you look at Penny and Nia side by side, you can see how the eye shape is very similar. But then again, that also opens another can of worms when you realize that Melly also has the same kind of eyes. Oh, and look at that, his blue hair is even the same as Penny's. Uh, oh no, I, I could believe that he's their ancestor, possibly on their mother's side. Also in this trainer card photo, I don't think they Mike wazowski Penny, I think this was just taken before she was born. This is a photo from Peony's gym leader days, and Nia looks like she's a toddler here. We don't have a definitive timeline of how far apart Sword and Shield and Scarlet and Violet are, but I'd say that Nia is maybe 3-4 to four years old in this picture, making her at least that much older than Penny. And I think that's an acceptable time gap between generations. When you think about how Peony would have already gone through the process with Nia of learning to let her adventure on her own, Penny attending school in a different region makes a little more sense. I just always think it's funny when we have characters with such contrasting abilities that are related. But this does make for one of the more fleshed out families in Pokemon video games. Because remember that Peony himself was also a surprise reveal being Chairman Rose's brother. Those must be some interesting family gatherings. So let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Out of all the family members we're seeing added in more Pokemon games, which have been some of your favorites, and have you also gained some more appreciation for Penny after learning she's related to the number one chat in Galar? Anyway, I should probably finish this video and take some time to call my own dad. I'm sure he'd love to go on an adventure. Thank you to every channel member for your continued support, especially great gators just like brand new member Moth Ballard, as well as Actual Clown, Cheeseburger Lasers, Taijirai, Volity, Quago, and many more. If you would like to support, see your name here and get access to emotes for comments, live streams, and watch videos a few hours early, you can become a channel member today. You can also follow me on Twitter for more memes and Twitch for more streams, but anyway, this is GatorX, and I'll catch you all later. Discover the strength to rule a kingdom. In the Pokemon trading card game, Sword and Shield, Chilling Rain. Products sold separately. Booster packs of 10 cards vary by product. Cards vary by pack.